Hi everyone and welcome along. Today we're going to do some nature journaling because it is that time of year, for us anyway, where our tomato plants are really starting to look magnificent in the greenhouse. So I thought, let's paint them. So grab your paints and let's get started. So I've got myself an A5 bit of paper and I'm gonna first draw with a pencil the, uh, the, the main stem and from that, the curving off branches and then off each one I'm going to just mark out where the sort of vine of tomatoes is growing so because you get each branch will have a sort of a set of leaves on it but also might have hopefully some tomatoes on the vine so I'm just sort of adding those extra little branches there and we're going to do this in a sort of fairly loose watercolour style um, and I'm going to actually begin with painting the leaves in first the leaves and the branches um, I'm just yeah I'm going to sort of work my way upwards because usually the tomatoes are hiding in and amongst the leaves. So I've got a uh, green gold here and a bit of sap green and I am just going to wake them up and sort of put them in a bit of a mix onto the page. And I think I'll be working with sort of size two, size zero brushes to begin with and the rigger brush is going to be really handy too. So starting at the bottom, uh, this is going to be the sort of the broadest possible bit of the vine. So you can see I've done two lines and there's just a tiny bit of unpainted space in there. And I'm going to begin by heading down this branch first and I'm going to paint in some leaves. So tomato plant leaves have got a sort of serrated feel but quite sort of pronounced serrated edge leaves. So what we do is we do a, an initial line and then fill in more tapered lines sort of either side. So let's do that one again, so a central one and then slightly smaller and then it's quite nice to maybe just drop in a little bit of the darker green. So we'll keep going down, down this branch. And then over on this side. I think this is one of my favourite leaf painting techniques, getting those slightly pointy edges. Now I want to get some colours mixed up for my tomatoes. I'm just going to change my colour, coloured water over and get my tomatoes nice and uh, vibrant. So um, we're going to have tomatoes in various stages of growth. So we're going to have some that are redder than others. So I'm going to mix up my cadmium red but also some cadmium orange and some cadmium yellow 
and there are definitely some tomatoes that are, are still very green on the vine so we'll be using some of the green gold as well but I am going to now on this branch start to think about where I'm going to place my tomatoes in now I do appreciate that if you're sort of new to watercolor or new to painting in general it's a little bit scary to just go straight in with painting so what we're going to do is we will place in Our tomatoes to begin with. So I've got a size zero brush and let's start with a nice red one. I am going to uh, place in a circle of red that doesn't even sort of fully close up on the top. Clean my brush off and then just draw that colour inwards. And then I think actually with a slightly smaller brush, I'm just going to get a bit of more concentrated colour. And then I can just outline it whilst it's still wet. And it means you can just slightly play around with the shape if you want. But what I'm also doing is I'm allowing that sort of area where the vine hits the tomato to be quite pale so that I can add uh, a little bit of green, a bit of vine if I want to. Let's do another one of these. And as I've got the four tenths brush with me, I'll just stick with that. So starting with some dilute red. Clean off the brush. And this time I'm actually going to take a bit of orange for that extra colour. And this time I'll try doing orange on the outline. That's the thing, you can play around with the variations especially if you're actually painting from sight, if you've got a tomato plant in your house or, or greenhouse, you'll be able to do exactly what you see. Um, and then for that one, I'll just add a little bit of red. And I'm just going to carry on now, sort of placing in vines and leaves and of course also, I'm just going to paint in that main vine there. Adding a little bit of the darker green wherever I go. I think this is quite a fun one to get completely lost in. So I'm just working my way up, um, adding in tomatoes, adding in leaves, and at the moment the branches are just sort of stopping just short of most of the tomatoes. And we're going to add in those extra little sort of sepals and joiners. And uh, so I'm also mixing up the sort of amount of green that I'm using on the main vine. So sort of using sap green as well as the green gold mix. Just make sure that your leaves are growing sort of in the direction of the of the end of the vine so they're they're sort of branching off at an angle rather than coming out sort of straight like that you're sort of curving them out like that so 
So to finish off, I've got a four tenths brush with some sap green on it and I want to paint in the vines and the sepals. So I'm just adding a little bit of the green to the vine and then trying to just paint the sort of nice fairly wild little sepals and then also to add in a little bit extra detail on some of the leaves if they feel a bit a bit pale so I'll do that again so like really go for it with some of these sepals because the ones that we grow always seem to have quite sort of amazing long long sepals like that so with the leaf lines you could just do a single line or you could do a little splay of some Finish it off, I'm just going to take a bit of burnt sienna with my size 2 brush and maybe just a little bit of extra sort of shadowy colour, a bit of moon glow here. And there we have a lovely tomato plant. Thanks so much for watching, I really hope you enjoyed that one. I want to say a huge thank you to our patrons for their support, because that support enables us to keep creating videos like these that everyone can enjoy. And if you enjoyed it, then hit the like button and comment below to let me know how you got on with that one. And of course, if you never want to miss another video, then hit the subscribe button and the little notification bell, and we'll see you again next time. Bye!